Hi everyone, Andrew Eaton here and today I want to talk to you about something that is very very dear to my heart and that is the subject of dream stealers. Now why is it close to my heart? You see, it's close to my heart because this business changed my my life. Uh, this industry changed my life. Uh, when, I, when I started it I was um, a person who had lost a, uh, a large amount of um, pride and, and quite a bit of money in a traditional business. Um, I went and worked for someone else was frustrated and uh, uh, many people know my story but uh, the faith that this that I had in this business and in myself really changed my life and um, the problem that uh, I encountered uh, you know when I first started this business that was was that many people that were very close to me many well-meaning people um, advised me not to do this business because of what their perceptions of our industry is and I almost listened to them. And uh, I look back now, you know, four or five years later, and I just realized, had I listened to them, uh, what my life would have looked like. It would have looked uh, a whole lot different to what it looks now, and certainly not as fulfilling as what it is now. Note, I'm not even talking about the money. It, 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 it just would not even have been as fulfilling it is, as it is now. But, um, you know, I suppose I'm fortunate and blessed that I, that I chose to believe in myself and believe in the industry that I've chosen and the vehicle that I've chosen and, and pushed through and didn't listen to them. And, you know, many of those people who doubted the industry and, and doubted, um, you know, this business, the business and, and doubted, uh, I suppose, my ability to do something are are, are now supporters of what I do because of, of, of what I've proved to them. Um, the, the frightening thing is that many of them uh, were very, very close to me. And, um, and this is the subject that I really want to talk to you about today. So many people, and, and by the way, the reason I've decided to put this video up today is because um, just in the last two, three weeks, I've had, I've had a couple of people in my business who've been very negatively affected by well-meaning friends and family who, who, who have, who have um, in, in some of the cases, succeeded in stealing their dreams. Now, does that make the person a bad person? No. You see, many people will advise you on what they know. And, um, and unfortunately, unfortunately, most people don't know exactly how our industry works and what it can do for you. So they only advise you on what they know. I had the unfortunate incidents about two, three weeks ago where, um, where a person who, who lives far away from their family uh, wanted to use this as a vehicle to get back to their family. And unfortunately, you know, um, they have, don't have another vehicle to be able to come back to, 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 to their family other than this. And, you know, unfortunately, they took advice from people that, uh, that really well-meaningly gave them horrid, horrid advice um, and told them that, you know, the industry that we're in is a scam um, it's pyramid schemes and all that. And they don't mean it nastily, but they don't know what they're talking about. So dream stealers are very dangerous people, even though there might be people very close to you. Does that mean to say that you don't, that you disassociate yourselves from them? No. But when a dream stealer, be it your mother, your father, your spouse, f close friends, wants to criticize you and criticize what you're doing and try and steal your dream from you, what you need to tell them is say, listen, I respect your opinion. I respect that is what you know. I'm not expecting you to run with me on this. I'm just, expe I'm just expecting you please to support me and watch me. Let me make my own mistakes if I have to, but do not criticize what I'm about to do, please. So, dream stealers, um, there's only one way to prove them wrong, is that to go, and that's to go and build a business. Many dream stealers themselves have tried to get involved in network marketing, and unfortunately they failed. And because they failed, they think you're going to fail. Many of them don't want to take the blame for failing themselves. So they lay the blame on network marketing itself, um, which is not correct, people. So, you know, we need to be really, 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 really... Um, uh, careful as to who we listen to. You know, when you come into this business and you're new, you can choose to listen to your family and friends who much, many, much of the time do not know what they're talking about when it comes to this industry. And in many of those times, those people will steal your dreams from you. Or you can choose to listen to the successful people. You see, what I did when I started in this business is I started listening to the people who had made, made a success of this business. It was, a, it was a conscious decision that I had to make. But I realized if I was going to be an insurance, let's call it... Um, uh, a person is in the financial services industry, do I listen to the people who say to me that industry doesn't work? Do I listen to the people that fail at insurance, selling insurance? Or do I go listen to the people who made millions from insurance? I think you know the answer. The answer is to go listen to the people who made millions from insurance. And it's no different 
in this business. So, you know, you can you must make a conscious decision. Do you listen to the naysayers, the dream stealers, or do you listen to the people who made it big in this business and, and, in, and in this industry? And that's what I decided to do. So when you become into this business, understand that you are in the most vulnerable time period of your business and the opinions, opinions, because that's all they are, people. They are not facts. They are the opinions of others. And those opinions could cause you to lose millions and millions of dollars. If you decide to listen to their advice, my advice to you when you come into this industry is to listen to the people who've made it. And there are CDs and, and DVDs and online, thing, uh, online uh, uh, um, resources that you, can, that you can surround yourself with to understand that you're in the right place. You need to just listen to the right people and not to the dream stealers, no matter how much you love them. Love your dream stealers. They do not mean to steal your dream from you impossible, but be very careful to listen to the advice if they're not an expert on the subject matter, which is network marketing. So that's, my, that's it from me for today. I hope I've given you value. It's something that I'm passionate about. I see so many people throw away their dreams because they listen to well-meaning people who ultimately end up being dream stealers. Till next time. Cheers.